Hey, thank y'all for stopping by here. You know, I got to thinking, and this would be a great day to relive all them childhood memories about the best sandwich you ever had in your life. The classic bologna sandwich, even better. Part smoked, part fried, got all the goodness thrown in together on Texas toast. Mm -mm -mm. Hey, thank y'all for stopping by camp. The Lord has blessed us with cloudy, cool weather. I love it. I mean, this is one of the perfect film days. May get a little breezy before it's over, but we have that great curtain of clouds there that blocks it out. But what are we talking about today? The ever popular, oh so famous, bologna sandwich. Now, I remember when we was little, and we eat them ever since I can remember having one tooth. I mean, that's what was on the table was a bologna sandwich. My daddy called it red rind steak. But so many people go to the store now and what do they do? They reach in their pocket and they pull out some bologna. Yes, but folks, look what this says. Made with beef, pork, and chicken. How did they get all them animals in this little package? But I wanna show you something here. This is what amazes me with bologna today. Let me drain the water off of it, is See this, how thin this is? Let's just do some comparing. When you go buy bologna, don't buy this stuff. Don't buy the stuff in the package. Go to the deli section of the store and tell them, I want some bologna, but I do not want the bologna Whoa. sliced here. I want the bologna sliced here. Now, is yours uh, all beef or is it- This is a all beef bologna. Folks, I'm not even going to go into what in is all in a piece of bologna, but it is pure 100% beef. That's all I'm going to tell you. Ask that lady behind the deli counter, go over there. There's got them big loaves of bologna, okay? Tell her, ma'am, sir, I'd like for you to slice me off about two pounds of that bologna, but Cowboy Kent Rollins told me to tell you, make it at least a quarter to five sixteenths to a half inch thick. I've eat this stuff all my life. On ranches, I'd take it when I was going in early. You know what I have? Fried bologna for breakfast, bologna sandwich at lunch, and fried bologna for supper because I could buy a package of that for 69 cents. It was on sale, and I have eaten so much of it. So this one here, probably blow away in the wind, but this one won't. Tell you what, I messed that all up, Shan, okay? So we're gonna take this bologna. We're gonna cowboy it up. I'll meet you over there at the smoker. Two pieces of bologna, two jalapenos fixing to go on the smoker, but what big news, folks, the cowboy smoke box is out. Oh my gosh. I want to design a smoker that would hold a temperature constant. There's so much variation in everything that I've ever used. And we designed it, me and the good folks at Hasty Bake. Now y'all have heard me mention their name before. They are the people that make our Bertha stoves, which is sitting there in the background that it's got this seal that when you bring it down here and you hang on, we have trouble in paradise. <laughs> He's about to get the cheap bologna. You can latch this and it is what you call fixing to be smoke tight. Now the firebox down here below just slips in there. We got it full of good hardwood fogo lump charcoal today. So if you want the best smoker out there on the market, you can order this thing. There'll be a link down below or you can check out our website. But I'm getting tired of holding this bologna. I'm fixing to cook it. Skitter open. It is preheated, it is. Grill has been cleaned off. Now, if Shan will come in here, I want y'all to see down in the bottom of this. There's actually two sets of racks. One is down here below where if you want to put a water bath, then there is a deflector shield that's right over the fire that's just so wide that just blocks some of it. So we're not talking about indirect heat anywhere, we're just talking about a smoker. So we're gonna lay these, so, this so, so good. It's got a little sizzle right there at first, but folks, we're gonna put these on this sandwich, but I want them to have some good smoke flavor. So we got them on, let's get this shut down good and tight. <clears throat> We're gonna start with three pieces of mesquite wood because I want some good smoke, but also, if I can reach it, some apple wood. What do you think, Mage? Two of them will be a plenty. I like to leave that door open just a little to get that flame to go into where I know when I shut this off, we're gonna to go to instantly making some smoke. 
Now we're going to run this smoker about 225 to 250 degrees, but we're going to let this smoke probably 20 to 25 minutes just to get it that good flavor, get everything really going. The jalapenos will stay a little longer because we want them to get good and soft. I treat bologna really like a piece of pork or chicken in a way, even though it's beef bologna, because it's sort of a smooth surface meat. There's no grain to it like that. It's processed. So I think it really pairs well with oak, mesquite, cherry, or apple. Now, you could start with just straight oak and go that way and be just fine, but I want to give it a good blend of smoke bath that's going to get all the flavors penetrated in there, and I really like to pair all things with fruit wood in the end. Well, well, that's smoking right along. We just want to go ahead and mix up the spread that is going to go on here. What I would really call the salve, that's what we used to call it a long time ago. Did you put the salve on your sandwich? We're going to use some what? Duke's mayo. To that, some honey Dijon mustard. Is that French, Italian, or what? I mean, what is what is the word Dijon? Dijon is French. Hi. Right. So let me rephrase that. Okay, today we're going to use some Dijon mustard. No, that's like wrong Italian. accent. Okay. Do French. Let's do French. We oui, we oui, Monsieur. We're going to use Dijon mustard. A little of the famous W sauce. It don't take much. Just a splash. Coarse ground black pepper. One garlic clove. Get everybody in there, give them a stir, get it really mixed well, and just put it back in the fridge, the ice box, the Yeti cooler. Needs to be cold when it gets there, so I'm gonna put it on there. It's time to check the smoker. Well, you see me ring that onion up, you did. Half a stick of butter goes right in here. We're gonna scoot this bologna down. We're gonna let that butter melt. This bologna don't like much being plum done. Get him back here over the way. Because remember I told you that we're gonna do something else to it as we smoke it. You know when you cook bologna just right and you you what? Fry it at the end to give it that crispy goodness right around that edge. It is oh so good. But folks, I'm gonna let you in a little secret right now. Hang on. What do you keep looking at? This hash knife, oh. I need it. So I wanna show you something. See how this bologna is trying to puff up a little? Now, you always want to go back and just cut it just a little somewhere to where it'll lay flat. That way it'll fry better. It won't be puffed up like a pancake. So we're going to let that go about five more minutes. It's been on about 15. We'll take that off there, open that heat up a little bit, get them onions really like we like them, and then ooh, it won't be long before we put the masterpiece together. Folks, the bologna was on about 20 minutes. We took it off, keeping it warm over there, out of the sight of the beagle. Let them onions cook, and hey, you can see we give them some really good color. That butter really helps in there. I want you to look at them jalapenos. They have got so much flavor coming in there. So we're gonna put all these together right in here and get them off so we can move a little further down the trail. Get them in there. Go ahead and just leave that skillet up there, let it get good and hot, because what are we going to do? We fit to put that bologna back in there and give us some crispy goodness. We may have to go get a 20 inch skillet as big as this bologna is to get a both pieces in there at the same time. But, ha, ah, hear that sound? That is what I'm after. It ain't going to take, ooh, ain't going to take long because that bologna got pretty good smoke to it, got it going good. But guess what? While we're letting that do that, can you see me? I'm up close. What is it? We're not just going to use no regular. I'll catch it in a minute. It'll hit up again the tree. Texas toast. People say, where do you get it? You get it in the bread aisle, you know. But go down through there. I want to show you. Now, what is Texas, toast? Texas toast is big like Texas. It is thick, thick cut bread. It matches the thick cut bologna. I'm just going to lay two right here a minute because I have to get them out to where we can spread some of that butter on them. So 
Let me throw this back to you, Shannon. You catch it. Okay. Good job. I got me some butter that is softened a little. Put this rag down here, see if we can't do this, Meiji. It don't take a lot, but it do take a little. Be sure and get your butter out ahead of time because see, you can see in the cool weather today, that ain't gonna spread at all. So we're just gonna try to daub some on there and see what happens because if you run it across there, it's like shaving without shaving cream. I mean, you're gonna damage some. So we're gonna put him down that side first because we have gotta give him some grill marks and get him toasted. But let's see what's happening here on this bologna. I mean, you could, you could be serving this right here for Thanksgiving. I'm telling you, it is good. Now, when I was growing up, bologna sandwich just, just consisted of two pieces of white bread, some mayonnaise, maybe a little bit of cheese, and I like to use that American cheese. Now, folks are going to be down on me saying, oh, no, the processed cheese. Please, folks from Wisconsin, bear with me just a minute. And why am I looking that way? Because that's north. That's where they're at. That cheese melts oh so good it does. So what we're going to do? We are fixing to put it together and get some of them adult veggie happy meals to go in because <clears throat> it is a good day it is. Ain't that a great creation? Not like my childhood bologna sandwich, but as an adult version of the greatest Happy Meal there is. Now, Shan said she thinks that I should cut this. Now, a lot of you think that I'm gonna cut it this way. Yeah, no, you have to cut it that way. That's the pretty No, way. you cut it this way. No. That's the way we always eat a sandwich no, at home. You, you do it okay, angles. here we go. Do a pull apart. Look at those layers. Uh huh. Well, we sliced it the adult version way too, Shan said. But I, I mean, that is a fine looking sandwich. This is not that little bitty thin bologna. Look, I mean, whew, and them jalapenos. Mm. 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 That was a big bite. Mm. going back into retro here like disco like a long time ago when you got the disco ball up there going around like everybody be doing like this and then the cowboy walked into the room and he said let's party let's get out yeah. we got the bologna sandwich everything is good well folks that was good and it's worth the disco dance but you know, I ain't gonna give the pups that cause that's mine, I'm, I'm gonna go. But you know this thin bologna that we had? Everybody gather around now, everybody. Duker, you're first today. Then there's the big, where is the Meiji? And there is St. Lou. Everybody's in good shape, they had some of it all. Folks, you can layer this sandwich any way you please. But I really like to start out with some of that good thickness down there on the bottom. Put that melted cheese on there. Then you can go a tomato or you can leave it off. Just use your imagination. Put anything on it you want. Well, we hope y'all enjoyed because this is probably one of my most favorite meals in the whole wide world. And mm, I don't think, Shan, did y'all even have a bologna sandwich growing up? We had liverwurst. Oh my <laughs> gosh. We're going to pray for you here in a minute, Shan. But folks, remember everything that we use today that you might want to find out. And I've had some people ask, I can't find the stuff. 
look in the little description down there below the link will be there for the recipe or just go to the website but don't forget to check out that smoker you're going to want one of them and it is with great privilege and honor that I do this and that is salute all those servicemen and women and all the veterans and all those folks who are keeping us safe we never forget you we'll always have you in our prayers and we thank you so much for what you do for us the rest of you come on in here y'all done told me you really appreciate the hugs so we're gonna give you a big one today God bless you each and every one and I'll see you down the best bologna sandwich trail ever ready to go I can't clap loud I have a sore on my hand Look, right here. I, where is it? Let right me there. zoom in. Let right me zoom in it. to see it because it's so small. I nearly had to go to critical care because I, I think Shannon will understand. I have seen my wife do this at times to where, let me, i got to make this a little bigger. What are you doing? You could have a bologna face mask to where you right, just, no. no? Uh -uh. That's going in the outtake. <laughs> I'm so glad y'all swing by our channel today. Guess what? what? Is swing? swing? Swing is not a word. It is too. S W A N G. Well, Never swing mind. Swing is not a word. Okay. Shan says it's not. Thank y'all for coming down to do drop in. I said I could. <laughs> you said I couldn't say well. What I is the do drop in? Y'all do drop in. Uh -huh.